Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to this new series, Madrasa at Home with Dr. Imran Hamza Alawiye. This series is for children, and we'll try our best to combine learning Arabic with understanding of our religion, Al Islam. Parents, please. Buy an exercise book where you make notes for your children so that they can do their homework for me. Okay, and please subscribe to the channel, please. And send this link to uh, your contact as well. So today, in our lesson one, which is going to last maybe just 15 minutes maximum, so that we can keep our uh, concentration going. I try my best. To make sure we do the regular, regular uh, uh, posting, inshallah. So, let's start with uh, a Muslim greeting or Islamic greeting. What is Islamic greeting? I think the, the best approach for us today is to display letters uh, of Islamic greetings and test your knowledge. Uh, of your alphabet. So, the first word in uh, Islamic greeting comprises of six letters. And these letters are number one, number two, three, four, five, six. Do you recognize these letters? Do you recognize them? Okay, let's check it out. The first letter is an alif. You write alif is the first letter. The second letter is lam. Okay. And the third letter is letter sin. And by the way, can you notice something on top of that sin? What we call that? That symbol. Ah, that symbol is Shedda. And on top of it, you will see another symbol. And that is Fatha. So we have seen Shedda with Fatha. And Fatha sounds A. Ah. Okay. Letter number four is Lam, another Lam. Second letter and the fourth letter. They are the same. Okay, and we have Fatha again on that lamb. Followed by an alif. That alif is mud. It's called lengthening alif to make the sound of la longer. La. Okay. What's the last letter? Letter number six. The last letter is meme. And it is carrying Dhamma. That symbol is called Dhamma. Dhamma is Sam's U. Okay. You clever children, tell me, can you read that word for me? Let me join them because Arabic is, is, uh, uh, is a joint, is displaying a very joint form, not individual letters. So, when we join those six letters uh, where it is possible, it looks like this. Okay, so anybody can read that for me. Come on, be brave. Come on, I'm sure you know. But let's see. Anis as salamu. As salamu. Ah, you know already what, what I'm up to. As salamu. Okay. As Salamu. We are pausing a little bit on the scene because of the shabda to make it to strengthen it. So we say as sala and the la is lengthening. As salamu. Children, next lesson I will expect you to be able to spell that for me and write it. So in your exercise book, please write it down. Break this first, as salamu, each letter, and then write it joined as you can see 
Assalamu. Okay. Assalamu. What's Assalamu? Assalamu means peace, well being, security, safety. Wow, that's a, a lot of meaning underneath that salam. So, salam means all this peace, well being, security, safety. Allahu Akbar. It's fantastic. So, when you say as salamu, those are the things you, you, you are saying. They are wonderful, wonderful meaning. Look at that. As salamu means all this. Allahu Akbar. Okay, what's another word after assalamu? Okay, let's do the same game. I'm going to break it down first. And then we'll say, how many letters in this next one? Um, I think it's five letters. The first letter is, C. as um, you've seen this letter, see whether you recognize it. So the first letter, uh, the second letter, mm -hmm. are you following me? Yeah. The third letter, can you see? Okay. And the fourth letter, uh huh. And the last letter, with the fifth letter. Okay, let's now see. Tell me the names of these letters. So, number one is an Ain. Ain. And it's Karin Fatha. Ah. So, ah. Mm -hmm. Next letter, ah, we had that before in the Salam. And it's Lam, and it's Karin Fatha as well. That's La. Then we have Ya. Ya, which has two dots below, and this is the only letter in Arabic alphabet carrying two dots below. So, Ya. There was that symbol, like a small O on top of it. It's called Sukun. So, Alay. Aha. Uh -huh. And then we have Kaf, Karim, Dhamma, U, that's Ku. And then we have the last letter we had it before in the Salamu, and that's Mim. Anis, Karim, Sukun. So, M, mm, all together is Aleikum. Aleikum. What's Aleikum? Be, be with you, be upon you. So, the whole meaning now, let's, let's go. Assalamu alaikum. That's mean peace, security, well being, uh, safety. Alaikum be with you. What a wonderful, wonderful greeting. Not only say hi. No, I <laughs> no Islam say Assalamu alaikum. Beautiful greeting. You see, Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you. Peace, security, well-being, safety be with you. Wow, Masha Allah. I love people to pray for me like that. You you meet me just now and then you are praying for me? Wonderful. Now, when you look at Islam, Al-Islam, which is what Islam, is carrying the same similar letters like a Sin, Lam, and Mim. Al-Islam. Ah, now we know that the Al-Islam actually has underneath it and above it and within it and below it all over carrying this wonderful meaning well-being security peace safety that's what that's islam is al islam to make things better to make the world a better a more peaceful place to live that is our religion and that is Islam, as you can see from those three letters, Salam. So, next time that I start the lesson by saying, Assalamu Alaikum, you know what I'm saying.
you know its meaning and I hope you know how to write it as well. It is very important to, to, to follow these as we each, each lesson you need to write it down, practice it, remember the meaning. It's so important to understand the meaning of what you are saying. So, okay, one more word before we finish the lesson. What is that? Ah, let's play that game again. I'm going to give you letters separately and then we're going to try to read it and uh, to write it as well, I hope, and to understand its full meaning. Right, let's go. This time, two letters, okay? The first letter is, is the first letter and then second letter. What are those th uh, two letters? What's number one? Come on, you know the first one because it's in the Assalam and it's in the Alaikum as well. And that's Meem. Meem is Karim Fatha. That's Ma. Okay. Second letter is, ah, that's also in the, we had that before in the second word as well. In the Alaikum. So that's an Ain. You see? You have Meem and you have Ain. Let's join it. So that's, this is how it looks when it, when it is joined. Uh, ma'a, ma'a, what's ma'a? Ma'a is with, ma'a, with, okay, what am I up to here? Okay, another word, let's, let's, let's write it down. Uh, an alif, you have alif before, yep, we have lamb before, and we have seen before and we have another lamb as we have before what am i up to here you can guess and then we have alif uh-huh we have mem that sounds, sounds like a, a salam to me yes but we have extra letter at the end this time and that is called tamar buta so let's join them so we have ma salama Ah, as-salama. I don't have to ask you now, what's the meaning of salama? You know, it's peace. Peace, security, uh, safety, well-being. You know, what's the case salama in anything? You know there is a meaning of all these wonderful meaning in there. Peace, security, and well-being. Wonderful. So when I say ma as-salama, although... In English, we translate it as a goodbye. Actually, the real meaning is ma'a with sal uh, salama, safety and peace and security. So, when I'm going to say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, ah, you say, ah, there is a reply. Yes, there is a reply. Okay. When I say assalamu alaikum, peace be with you, how would you respond? You know that I am sure. Okay. How do you respond? You will say, you start with wa alaikum, because we know that alaikum already, which means with, uh, uh, upon you, alaikum, with you. So we start with wa, which is and in Arabic. Wa, that means and. Alaikum, and upon you as well. Wa alaikum, and upon you as well. Wa alaikum salam upon you as well. Peace. Wa rahmatullahi, and what's rahmah? Rahma is kindness of Allah, mercy of Allah, wa rahmatullah, and then wa barakatuhu, and blessing, and Allah's blessing. Good Lord, look at that. You may ask me a question, say, ah, oh, okay, when I say assalamu alaikum to you, that's a very short, short and nice, yes. And then why reply is so long? Wa alaykum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu. Why? Ah, 
Islam is a very generous religion. Islam is telling you when somebody uh, gives you something or does something nice to you, you are encouraged to do even better for them. So when I greet you and I say, peace be with you, ah, oh, I'm being very generous. So you have to beat me on that one to do, be even more generous, Allah said. Then you will say, wa alaykum salam and upon you also the peace, wa rahmatullahi, and the kindness and the mercy of Allah, wa barakatuhu, and Allah's blessing. Look at that. So, yeah, that's why we compete with each other to see who can be better human being. So, sometimes I can start and say, okay, I want to be better. I'll just say to you, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. That's mean. Peace and mercy of Allah be with you. Ha, ah, you come and say, wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And upon you also may be the peace and the mercy and the blessing of Allah be with you as well. That's how, that, that's the way of Islam, to be more generous to people, to be forgiving. So when in Islam, when you say Assalamu Alaikum, as if you are immediately announcing to say, yes, I want all the goodies for you. I'm your friend. I am no threat, so don't be afraid of me. I am with you. I even pray for you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, uh, what I want you to do for me now is, I want you to look at all these things and write down the individual alphabets that we have covered now. You will see uh, those one. When we started, you added the alif and the lam and the sin and the mim and the ayn, the kaf, all those letters, as you can see now, are listed for you now. So the letters that we covered today. So please write it down for me and I will see you inshallah next lesson. Hopefully you have done your homework for me inshallah. So, that's nice. Let me greet you with uh, uh, a Muslim greeting and the uh, greeting of Islam. And I say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. And ma'as salama. Ma'as salama.